Welcome everyone, it's Miss G. Sat, and today we're going to read our final story about pill bugs. It's called Pill Bugs Life Cycles by Donna Schaefer. Pill bugs go through simple metamorphosis. Can you guys say that big word, metamorphosis? Does anyone know what that means? Let's find out. Simple metamorphosis has three stages. A pill bug's body form changes three times. Pill bugs grow in eggs during the first stage of simple metamorphosis. Pill bugs look much like adults when they hatch. After pill bugs hatch, they are in the manka stage. Mankas do not have all their adult body parts. During the second stage, mankas develop adult body parts. The third life stage of a pill bug's life is the adult stage. Adults are fully grown and have fully developed body parts. These stages make up a pill bug's life cycle. Almost all living things go through life cycles of birth, growth, reproduction, and death. Pill bugs are small creatures that never grow more than three quarters of an inch. The tops of their oval shaped bodies are curved and protected by hard plates. Their color ranges from brown to purple gray and they have flat undersides. Many people think pill bugs are insects, but they are not. They are closely related to lobsters, crabs, and other water isopods. Pillbug is the general name for land isopods. All isopods have three body sections and seven pairs of jointed legs. Isopods have antennas and exoskeletons. These hard outer coverings protect the isopods like a suit of armor. Pillbug species have many nicknames. People call them potato bugs, wood lice, roly polies, gammer's owls, and cheese logs. When I was little, we called them roly polies. Pillbugs live in most areas of the world. They are found on all types of land. They live near ocean coasts, on mountains, and even in dry deserts. Pill bugs make their homes in dark, moist places. They live under logs or stones. They need moist conditions to survive. Their bodies can dry out quickly. Pill bugs in dry areas roll up to keep moisture inside their bodies. They also search for moist places to rest. Pill bugs are cold blooded. Their body temperature depends on the temperature around them. Pill bugs hide from the sun. Some dig burrows in soil. These underground holes protect pill bugs from the heat. Pill bugs come out at night when the air is cooler. They go through several stages during their life cycle. Adult pill bugs are in the final stage of the life cycle. They mate and produce young. Many pill bugs first mate when they are one to two years old. Pill bugs mate one to four times each year and they mate with only one other pill bug throughout their lives. Pill bugs mate at night. A male climbs onto a female's back. He licks her head to make sure she tastes like a female pill bug. He also taps on her back with his legs. This tells the female pill bug that he is a male pill bug. Some females lay a brood of eggs after mating. A brood may have up to 250 eggs. This large group of young begins the life cycle together. The egg is the first stage in a pill bug's life cycle. A pill bug grows inside the egg. Females from some pill bug species have a special brood pouch to hold fully formed eggs. This liquid filled sac is attached to the underside of the female's body. The brood pouch protects the eggs. Its liquid keeps the eggs moist. Pill bugs grow inside the eggs for two to three months. The pill bugs hatch inside the brood pouch. Females do not raise their young. Pill bugs are on their own as soon as they hatch and leave the brood pouch. 
Mankas are the second stage of the pill bug life cycle. Mankas grow and change into adult pill bugs. Mankas are born white. They gain colors they grow older, and they only have six pair of legs. Mankas must mold to grow. They shed the exoskeletons that cover their bodies. Mankas first molt within 24 hours after hatching. They grow their seventh pair of legs during this molt. Then they are called pill bugs. Can you see the young pill bugs and the older pill bugs in this picture? Remember, the younger ones are smaller than the adults. Pill bugs eat before they molt to store energy. This energy helps them grow into their new coverings. Pill bugs are ready to molt again when their covering becomes tight and hard. Isopods molt differently than most animals. Isopods shed only half their exoskeleton at one time. Isopods shed the second half of their exoskeleton several days later. Pill bugs stop eating one to two days before they molt. They usually find a place to hide from enemies. When pill bugs are molting, they cannot roll into a ball to protect themselves. So toads, frogs, birds, spiders, and other pill bugs eat pill bugs that are molting. Pill bugs can molt up to 12 times. They grow and molt for one year before they become adults. Pill bugs may live for up to three years. Some scientists believe that pill bugs once lived in water. Over time, pill bugs developed the ability to live on land. Some pill bugs have organs that breathe air, but others still breathe through their gill slits like fish do. These body parts help pill bugs breathe by taking oxygen out of the air. Today, pill bugs still need water to survive. They could die if they become too dry. The shape of a pill bug's body helps it collect water. Water drops roll down its curved upper body. A pill bug can drink through its mouth. Pill bugs also suck up water through a body part called a uropod. The uropod is a tube that brings water to the gills. Pill bugs also take in waters in other ways. They soak up water through the soft undersides of their body. This water moves to the gills. Pill bugs get water from their food too. Most pill bugs eat rotting wood and plants. They sometimes eat living plants or dead animals. Pill bugs also will eat other pill bugs if there is not enough food. Pill bugs may also eat other pill bugs if too many live close together. Pill bugs use their antennae to find food. They feel around and smell with their antennas. After they find food, pill bugs eat it with their mandibles. They use these strong mouth parts to break food into small pieces. Pill bugs help break down dead plants and leaves when they grow. This process helps new plants grow. Are you ready to make a pill bug habitat? Let's go. All right, friends, let's make a roly poly habitat so that you can observe them and fill out your lab sheet. The first thing you're gonna do is write your name at the top where it says pill bugologist. The materials you'll need besides your observation sheet, which you can find in this week's activity packet, is some sort of container. Now, check with your mommy and daddy because they might want a container that's taller so your pill bugs don't escape somewhere in the house. Um, if you're doing it outside, you can use something shallower like this to make the habitat. The purpose of this is so that you can observe the pill bugs over several days or if you want you can have pill bug pets. Um, the first thing you're going to do is put some soil and my soil is already mixed with some um, decaying or rotting leaves. Remember pill bugs really like to um, eat decayed logs and leaves and hide under rocks and logs and leaves. So we want to give them um, 
plenty of that in the habitat. So I also have other leaves that are kind of dry, but we can add some water to make them a little moist because remember, pill bugs really like to be in dark, moist places. I also am adding a little bit of grass to my habitat and some rocks for them to hide under. Pretty easy. Now, we're missing one thing. Do you know what that is? Pill bugs. So let's go find some pill bugs and then you can add them to your habitat. Remember to send me a picture at Butterfly Garden Preschool on Instagram. I can't wait to see how you design your pill bug habitat. Thank you for joining us today. If you liked our lesson, remember to hit the like button and subscribe.